What's up guys, welcome to Snakes and Trails Season 3. My name's Tyler Carlson, I'm out here with my buddy Chris, and we're going to be doing a good bit of hiking today looking for banded rock rattlesnakes. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to see quite a few today. I'm really excited to get out and do some hiking. Anyway, let's get to it. So again guys, what we're doing out here is we're climbing on all these talus slides. It's really dangerous and uh, you can slide easily or anything like that, but it's a good way to find these snakes. So anyway. Alright guys, so just climbing up, we heard a claw, yeah he's still here buzzing. We heard a claw buzzing in these rocks here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try to dig him out. My problem is, is that I forgot my freaking tweezers. So, um, every time I find one, I have to yell at Chris. But anyway, we got one right here. You hear him? Dude, yes, that was quick. Yeah, that was you. That was excellent. All right, guys. So this is what we're out here looking for. This is Crotalus lepidus clobberi, the banded rock rattlesnake. This individual is very pink for this area. It's got um, not as pronounced banding as some that I've seen, uh, but still, it's a really, really cool snake. It's yawning at me. Cool. Um, Snakes will stretch out their jaws sometimes and you can see their fangs just like that. Awesome. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and let this guy go, but really excited to see him. Cool stuff, man. All right, guys, so I'm a little winded. I'm taking a break. It was really cool to see that first club, um, but we're gonna keep going. I'm really hoping to find quite a few more today. The whole goal is to just find as many banded rock rattlesnakes as we possibly can. Should be a really fun time. It's pretty steep through here. A little nervous about climbing down that. Got to do it. All right, guys, we just got back to our trucks uh, for um, the spot where we started our day at. And now we're going to go ahead and move on to the next spot, um, which is the place where I found that banded rock rattlesnake the last episode. So um, hopefully we can find one. We'll see. All right, guys, so I don't know if you can see it, but there's a male collared lizard on top of that rock and a female collared lizard on the bottom. Pretty cool. Um, cool to see the two hanging out together. Um, we're going to leave them alone and keep going. Hey guys, we just heard a claw, but I saw him dip down into these rocks here. I see him. Go right slow. There. No, no, no. Go slow. Go slow. So, 
Watch your fingers. Yeah. He's over here. Once we. I just don't want anything to fall. So guys, when we're moving all these rocks away, we're always gonna put them back and preserve the habitat as much as we can. You ready, Chris? No. I think he's gonna be right under this rock. We'll see. No, you're good. God, oh, I see him. Yeah, nice. Oh, what a gorgeous animal. Woo! Bro. Nice, guys. Bro. Bro. Yeah. Gorgeous. All right, guys, so here we are with this beautiful uh, clobber eye, Crotalus lepidus clobber eye, the banded rock rattlesnake. This individual is super gorgeous. Super excited to see a couple of these today. I'm hoping we'll get to see a couple of more in the um, uh, rest of the afternoon, but yeah, super cool. We're gonna let him go and keep going. Here's this club. We're gonna let him go right in these rocks. You got your footage going? Get out of here, buddy. Let go of my stick. <laughs> See you later. All right guys, that was super cool. We're done in this canyon. We saw two banded rock rattlesnakes. Uh, we're gonna go into town for lunch and then we're gonna head back out to a different canyon to look for more. So hopefully we'll see a couple more banded rock rattlesnakes before the end of the day. And then I'm gonna head down to a different area in South New Mexico to do some road cruising. Should be pretty cool, so let's get at it. All right guys, so it was super fun to hang out with Chris. Um, it was really cool to see those two clobber eye. We didn't end up seeing anything in the last canyon that we tried um, But still super awesome to see Chris. He's such a nice guy um, One of the smartest herpers I know and also he goes harder than anyone I know um, Anyway, definitely go check him out on social media um, Instagram Facebook whatever he's doing. He's not always on social media, but um, when he is it's worth checking out and um, other than that, I'm gonna head south and do some road cruising. Um, we'll see what we find, should be pretty cool. All right guys, so the sun is just now setting on the horizon and the temps are at 78 degrees, which is perfect. Uh, my favorite temp is when it's 80 degrees at sunset. Um, that's like my ideal optimal temperature to be out cruising snakes. But I think we should have a good chance at seeing something tonight, so. I'll get to it and I'll show you whatever I find. All right guys, so I actually didn't see anything road cruising, so I'm on my way back home. Uh, thank you so much for watching another episode of Snakes and Trails. I had a total blast. I hope you guys did too, and I can't wait to see you again next week. Later.